Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm going to show you how to do these 3D boxes. Um, it's Tiana theme, so you can see what it looks like on screen. This is what it looks like in person. So here's the S and then the I is a shaker. So you can kind of hear it. And then here's the X. All right. So we have to resize all the letters to make sure that they're of the same height. And then also we're going to decorate it. So let's, I'm going to show you how to do that. But here's what originally my intent was to make the S a little bit fancier um, and have dots with little hearts. It came out and it looked horrible. So <laughs> I ended up just doing um, a gold um, inset or I don't even know what to call the, the insert. Insert. Okay. Um, so I bought this file from Etsy and the designer, let's look it up. So, um, cause I, we need to go in, um, so let me show you on Etsy. Um, also we're going to have to use Inkscape. So just like an offset, we're going to be doing it. Um, we're going to do the opposite. So instead of growing it, we're going to decrease it, but it's the same concept. This is the one that I bought. So it's from Nomara Quintella. I love this file. So another one of my followers recommended her. That's the one that they use. And I've only done a few, but they, it's so easy to put together. Um, it's a great file. I haven't had any issues with the files. I haven't done any numbers or the symbols, but it's kind of cool. Um, I can see the symbols. Uh, there's like a little piece that goes in between that you can't really see it um, that keeps it connected. So I think it's just overall really well thought out purchase. All right, so once you buy it, you download it. The only thing is you're downloading each letter, each number, each symbol. So that means you're uploading each one of those. So I have not uploaded the whole alphabet. I've only uploaded the ones that I have, that I have used. So, all right, let's go into Inkscape. And I, let's see, let's do a new one. So I'm gonna show you how to do the insert. Everything else, like this X here, how it's split gold and purple on top, we'll do that in design space. All that is important is that we get the, um, the inside layer of this, okay? So what you need to do is go to go and import your actual file. So let's go find it. All right, so um, I'm gonna do, let's see. This is my C A X. All right, so here's X and just bring it in. Now I did notice that when I'm bringing it in, it's it looks like it's blank, but it's not. So all you do is just click on a color and then there it is. Um, make sure it's locked and then let's make this bigger so that we can see it better. Okay, don't worry about any of these boxes or anything. All we wanna do is do the offset. So um, click in the white space because right now this is selected, right? So click in the white space so that nothing is selected. Go to your paint, um, paint bucket, click a different color, and right up here, normally we're growing. So we do 10, 20, 30, up to 60, whatever um, is what I've done. But um, we are gonna shrink it. So let's shrink it by, let's see what 10 looks like. So negative 10, okay? So that's what negative 10 looks like. Let me tell you why I like negative 10 or the smaller the number because um, it helps, It it's just barely in, so you'll be able to see the outside layer, but um, it covers more of your, um, your errors because when you're putting this together, you're laying this top piece just right on top of a bunch of little tabs. So if it's not completely perfect, you may see little slots or holes. So it's nice to do a, um, an insert that's just tiny, like barely in. So um, this is what negative 10 looks like, but we can, I can show you what it looks, what another one looks like. So let's click on the arrow. We want to make sure, so this is selected, click in the white space so that nothing is selected. Click on your paint bucket, pick another color, and I'll pick this gray. And instead of negative 10, we'll do negative 15. And I'll do it on this X so that we can see the difference. Okay, so you can see it's just a little bit more than the negative 10. So either one. All right, so we'll bring both of them in. 
So click the arrow, grab everything here, path, object to path, and then file save as. So I'm just gonna call this um, 3DX insert. Okay, so let's go into ink, or I'm sorry, design space. <laughs> Okay, so you need to upload each one of these, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So here's my S, my I, and where's my X? It's not this one because this one doesn't have the insert. Am I missing it? <sighs> All right, well, let's bring those two in, the S and the I, and then we just did the X, so we'll bring in that X, okay? <clears throat> so I'm starting from the beginning, even though we can see what it looks like, because we have to resize this to make sure that when you stand them up next to each other, that they are all the same size. So let's go to upload, let's get our X. So upload image, browse, and we gotta find our where we just saved it. So I called it X. Um, I feel like this isn't it. No. Did I call it 3D? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> 3D X insert. I just had dinner. I saved my recording to have dinner first so that I wouldn't be um, hangry, <laughs> but I feel still kind of out of it right now. All right, here's our X. Click on that, insert the image. Oh my gosh, it was right there. It was in that first line. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to move it down here. Now that we know what this looks like, I'm going to delete this. Okay. Just so that it's easier for us to and navigate here okay so what I like to do is I like to keep the letters in the same in the same order just because you want to make sure that your all your tabs are here you don't want to get things mixed up so okay so here's our X you got to determine what size you want everything so this I think I ended up doing at five inches so you can see how big it is compared to my face. This was a little bit smaller than I would like. I think I would do at least six inches, if not seven inches. So I'm gonna show you seven inches just because I haven't done it, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna ungroup everything. You want to make sure that all these little, um, so ungroup it, sorry. You wanna make sure that all these little tabs are within the boundaries of the X because you want the X to be your highest um, image within this group. I hope that makes sense because that way we can size all the letters. So if, every, um, if we size this to 10 inches, these three tabs will grow um, proportionately because we're gonna grab everything and make it 10 inches tall. So you wanna make sure that when you do that though, that your letter is the biggest thing because the way it was grouped before, like this, when I go to grab all these items, these three tabs are gonna, what tells me what the height is. The height is four inches, right? I don't want that. I want the height to be what the, the X actually is. So you want these to be in a line within the X within this range of the height of the X, okay? You don't need these little inserts that tell you where these go. So if you can see, I'm gonna zoom in for a second. So the circle's right here. So you go and you find the one with the circle and it's still so small, sorry. Okay, here we go. So this one is the circle. That means this little tab starts here. This is the triangle. This piece in itself starts here. And then the X is easy, right? Because these two are of equal um, height, it looks like. So you know it has to go triangle, long piece, long piece, right? Because th the two long pieces are connected. This one's a short piece, so you know it has to go this way. So I kind of, um, I haven't had to use 
um, these visual markers to figure out where my letters go or where the tabs go. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of them, okay? So what you do is you go over here to your right-hand side panel and just wherever you see these, just delete. So highlight, select it, delete it, go down to the next one. Don't need this. Okay, and then go to the eye. We don't need this one or this one. And I think that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back out. You're gonna wanna do this with all your letters. So here's your eye. Your eye looks good because the, the height for the eye, these two tabs are within the, the height of the eye, so we're good. The S, we need to ungroup and spread it out like we did with the X. So you wanna ungroup it and group it again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's, we're gonna do it seven inches, right? So let's grab this S, grab all of it because you wanna make sure that whatever we resize, everything gets resized so that it still fits with each other. All right, so we're gonna go to height and do seven inches and it's gonna get big. <laughs> and let's just click on these to make sure that it's still within um, something that we can cut with 12 by 12 cardstock, right? So good, 10, almost 11 inches. This is 12.784 but I think we should be okay okay so this one's fine this one's a little bit long but the way design space measures height and width is just from the most left to the most right and then from the most highest point to the lowest point right so if this same image if I go and I rotate it like this do you see how it changed the um the height, the height's a little bit shorter now, right? Because my most top is here and my most bottom is here, whereas before it was, uh, or I'm sorry, this is left to right. My most left to my most right, it shifted so it's not as long anymore. So I'm gonna shift it some more. And let's see if I can see what this is, okay. So see, so this can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This same piece, which we haven't resized, we've only rotated, our most left is this, this point right here and our most right is here. It is now only 10.4 inches as opposed to what it was before, where this, this is the most long it would be, right? Here's left and right, it's almost 13 inches long. So we're okay with this piece. I know that was really long. <laughs> All right, let's look at our eye. Grab everything with our eye. I don't think I grabbed everything. All right, and we want this to be seven inches. And let's look, this looks fine, right? Um, why didn't ungroup, ungroup, ungroup again? What is going on? Okay, 11.49, oh my gosh, perfect, okay. Let's grab our X, okay, and make that seven inches as well. And then let's see what we have here. So when we have this, this is 9.7, good, 11.7, not a big deal. We know we can twist it a little bit, and 9.7, perfect. So this is an acceptable project as is. We don't have to worry about it. At seven inches high, it's gonna be a, a good amount and um, it will cut on our 12 by 12 cardstock. All right, I right, let's make all of this the same color. Um, I'm gonna do it green because that's what we, that's what I did with mine. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna click make it just so that I can show you something. So do you see how these dotted lines are not sitting on anything? We need to go back and attach them, okay? So let's cancel, oops, okay. So with these tabs, and I have one, so I'm sorry, let me walk away and grab it. I knew I had one. <laughs> Okay, so these dotted lines, they're actually cut lines. So it helps you fold it super, super easily. So you wanna make sure though, that they it has to be on this actual tab exactly the way it is. So it's super easy. 
you just click on this and make sure that it's attached. Okay, so now the dotted lines will cut exactly where you see it here. So just make sure that, oh, and we have a couple pieces over here that are not green, so I'm gonna grab that. Go make it green. Okay, so this one, you can tell it's already attached because your only option is to detach it. So let's grab this one, attach our two eyes, attach. and then our X. So this is basically right now, all that we've done is we've, <laughs> we've fixed or we've resized everything just to make the basic blocks. So what you have right here is a box, okay? None of this stuff, just literally this S with the surrounding, um, the 3D box, okay? So we have it for the S, the I, and the X. So let's go to make it to make sure that this now works. And you can see it does, right? So the dotted lines, it's gonna happen. You do want this to be cut. It helps you fold it and give you really, really clean lines as opposed to just um, scoring it, okay? All right, so this looks good. We're all good. Let's cancel out of this. All right, so now we're gonna build the actual design, right? Um, oh, wait a minute, what happened to my... Oh, there. Okay, it's like, wait a minute, what happened to my insert? Okay, they're all underneath? Yep, okay. Um, let's change our inserts so that we're not confused. <laughs> I'm gonna change this to gold. It may not look gold, but it is gold. Um, So let's do our X first. Um, so here's the inside of my X, right? And what I know is it's 6.709. Awesome, so it's not a even number. <laughs> let's just grab our square. Okay. So we could divide this in half. So let's see, so our square should be 3.3545, 3. Um, 3, Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't want to resize the X. Let me undo that. I am not thinking tonight. <laughs> okay, um, this, okay, 6.709, oh, gosh. Okay, so this I want to make 3.3, I already forgot. Um, shoot, 3.3, what was the number? 6.35, my gosh, okay, 3.355. That should give us kind of right there. Okay, so then what you wanna do is, let's grab these two and align, bottom align, or align bottom. Okay, I'm gonna bring this X to the front. Arrange, send to the front, just so that I can see. So yeah, it, it cuts right in the middle, right? Um, let's go send it right back, send to the back. Okay, we're gonna make this width a little bit longer because we want it to cover the whole X, right? So let's change it to five. We're just gonna scooch this over because we're gonna slice out the bottom. Um, why isn't it moving? Okay, grab the two items again and let's realign it. So align bottom and then we're gonna slice. You just wanna make sure when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time, right? So that was gonna be our gold X and then our rectangle. 
but you want to make sure that whatever you're slicing out that the whole bottom is covered so that's why i had to extend out that square to a rectangle so that we covered the the edges at the bottom of the x all right so now we can easily change this so that's gold already we want to change this to purple so this is going to sit like this right so pretty okay um so that's our x the thing that goes on the x is our frog now you can bring in any frog. This frog, I specifically bought it from a Tiana SVG file on Etsy. Um, so just go to upload and let me find it. I know I'm so bad. I really should upload and rename everything because I didn't name it. All right, so there it is, insert. And I thought it would be cute to do this X split in half because I thought he could sit on the half and it would look, you know, like, like a des purposely designed <laughs> to sit in the middle like this. Okay. And so you saw, I just eyeballed that. Um, you can make him smaller or bigger. It doesn't matter because our letters are sized properly. So everything else should be proportionate to our letters. Um, this, he looks about the same as the way I did my X. I made him pretty big just because the details, the orange spots, that's, I mean, this is all cardstock. So his orange, it's orange glitter cardstock. He's two different colors of green. Um, one is shimmer paper, the other one's glitter cardstock. So you want to mix your, your papers up, the textures as well as, as well as colors. And it's going to really give you that, um, nice overall polished look because of the mix in colors and cardstock. So, okay. So here he is. The X is, is, it's done. So let's look at our S. So here's our S. Now the S you want to make sure this is obviously the inverse. So we want to go to flip and flip horizontal. So that way you have this S up here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I did this insert or inset um, in Inkscape and it kind of warped my S. It didn't happen so much with the X. The X still had clean lines, although you can kind of see up here, it's not as sharp as I would expect it to be. So I don't know how to fix this in, uh, in Inkscape. Um, my friend made a tutorial that I still need to watch. So I will be doing that so I can show you how to fix it within Inkscape. But I kind of like Mickey Mouse it and fixed it in design space. So the way I made this more clean is I actually just started welding shapes. So I started welding like the edge of this square right here. So I'm going to unlock this. And it was just a few areas that kind of bothered me. So it wasn't like I was fixing the whole S, but you see, I did this. And then I grabbed these two things and I welded it. So it gave me just a little bit cleaner lines. I'm going to do that up here. So you can always, you always have that option. The eye obviously is a lot easier. That's, it's basically two rectangles across and one long one right but um i think here the only other place that really bothers me is here and here um this is annoying but the lily pad goes right here so it's not a big deal um <laughs> so kind of just i mean i just felt like this was a good learning moment um we can do something like this because you might want to fix this for other things. So let's um, weld it. So, oh, that gave me too much of a line. So I'm going to undo that. I didn't like that. But you can kind of see what, what you can do. So actually, maybe not. Um, maybe just up here, just to give it a little bit of a clean line. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that made it just a little bit cleaner, right? And then you can do it for here as well. You can stick another rectangle and do that. But let's bring in our lily pad. So the lily pad is from just images in here. 
and I was looking for one that just had a lot of layers. I love this one because it's got different colors. I mean, I didn't use those colors, but what I ended up doing, and I don't, you might have to look on Instagram for better pictures, but because it had so many layers, I was able to add um, a little bit of depth in between each layer. I had a glue dot for each one of those colors. So in the end, my lily pad was actually, gosh, probably like half an inch in height. So just from, so it, it sat on top of the S and it stuck out even that much more. I don't know if you can see if that's a better view. So yeah, you can kind of see that. So it just gives you this layered look and it just looks really, really nice. So I opted for this lily pad, um, insert the image and you can just change the colors to what you want. Um, I ended up doing, so let's resize it first because we want it to fit nicely. Well, we can do it on this one. <clears throat> so let's say you like that, okay. Now all you have to do is go into these layers and change the colors. So I'm gonna change it to what I have, okay? So my pink layer was gold. And then I just did, I did dark green. And then I did this layer was white. As well as this layer. And this is going to sit on top of this S right here, like that. Like this. Okay. All right, so our S is done. Let's look at our eye. So let's fix the eye for a quick second because this one's easier to do. So you want to resize, you want to unlock it so that we can change it from a square to a rectangle, right? And that looks about right, so I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm going to put it down here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all three items and I'm going to align and I want to center it. And then I'm going to weld it. That made it just a little bit cleaner. Okay, on this one I did a shaker. So I'm not gonna show you how to do the shaker because I have the shaker videos, but you can put this on top and um, I will show you Tiana though. So what I did was I did Tiana, I cut her so that she actually fit to the letter I. So let's go here and upload, view all. I'm gonna show you two ways because I did a poll and it was split right down the middle of cutting her. Oh, so this is already printable. Let me see, do I want printable? Okay, that's fine. Let's insert her. So she's gonna be print and cut because there's so much um, in details. I didn't wanna layer all this in cardstock, okay? So I'm gonna do this two times. I'm gonna duplicate her so you can see it. So one option is to have her, and I put her in the eye because one, it's in the middle. Two, her figure kind of fits with the eye, so it's not distorting the, um, the letter I so much. So you could put her something like this, then you can still see this is an I, it still spells six, it's very obvious. Or you could do something like this. So hold on, let me delete this. Let me make, so for the same shape, I'm gonna duplicate or same size, I should say. And I had her kind of like this. And then what I did was, oh, hold on, let me, I didn't ungroup this eye yet. Let's ungroup it. Okay, um, send it to the back. So here is this one, right? I'm gonna duplicate it just one more time so that we can see it. I'm gonna move it over here and then I'm gonna slice. Okay, 
so we can delete that. So what you have is, hold on, let me move this to the back or let me move her to the front. Send to the back, okay. So you can either have her looking very full and very pretty or you can have her fitting to the letter so that your eye, there's no mistaking that this is an eye. That's what I opted for. I don't know if it looks weird to you. I like it because I like to see the letters. This one's not a good example because, you know, she fits along with the eye to begin with. So I think it makes more sense. But if it was like, I don't know, let me bring her down to this one. If we put her here, we put this here, like I feel like we're missing that it's an X. I mean, obviously what other letter would it be? But it just doesn't look like a real X to me. So that's kind of why I, I, I like cutting it to that letter. All right. I think that's all that's left. Now, what I like to do with um, print and cut, because my printer only prints really well on, on copy paper, so it's really, really thin, right? So what I like to do is I like to have this copy here cut in cardstock. So then I'm gonna tape, I'm gonna tape Tiana onto my cardstock layer, and so then she's not flimsy. That's what it's gonna look like, okay? Um, and I think that's it. Let's go to the Make It screen because I know this is a little bit difficult. Um, let's get rid of this one. I think we have everything. Let's go to Make It. Okay, just click OK, we're fine with this. So when you're doing Print and Cut, just click on Print. This is uh, your Print and Cut. It will print just like this. You're gonna put it on the mat just like this in this corner and it's gonna cut, you want bleed on. It's gonna cut perfectly around her. This was all cut by my maker. I didn't touch it with scissors at all, okay? So, all right, so there's that. Here's all your white. You know you can move these things around to make it more efficient if you want to. Here's the background of the frog. These are my orange spots um the body okay here is the gold here is the green and you can see you can move this to make it more efficient this piece never even made it onto my thing it was so small i just didn't even bother with it <laughs> okay here's the green um more lily pads, okay. This is where it gets tricky. This is the one that's too long, right? So I always use my 12 by 24 mat. If you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, then you need to move every, okay, so first of all, let's move this one, okay? So click on it, click on the three dots, move object, and we're gonna create a new one. We want it in the same color, so hit confirm. So it will now sit on its own mat, but now we can rotate it on this mat. Okay, so here's a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This is now fine. It doesn't matter that it says it's a 12 by 24 mat. If you stick a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock on a 12 by 12 mat, it will cut perfectly. You don't have to worry. Now let's go back and fix the other problem that we had though. Okay, so you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, right? So now that we've gotten rid of the offending piece onto the other mat, you can now change this. Oh, is it gonna let you? Oh, this one's still too long, okay. So this one as well, click on this, move object. We're gonna move it to its own piece. And we're gonna rotate it as well. Okay, so now this is, fine right so let's go back to this one now this can go back to 12 by 12 because all the pieces are would fit within the 11 and a half by 11 and a half right so now it will remove everything for you okay so here's our white our black let's see where are we um we're good here so here's our first green two x's with the strip we're good Here's the other one. Now all of our pieces are good, right? <clears throat> okay, you have a random P. 
piece. Here's our V. Here's our long piece that we had to rotate so that it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, as well as this piece. And then that's it. You're done. I have the video to how to assemble this, so I will see you for that one. But comments, questions, please let me know. Um, and let me know that you like this kind of project because I'm gonna continue doing this. This reminds me of cake toppers. So once you built the 3D letters, everything that goes on top is just like a banner or just like a cake topper. We're just adding cool pieces to layer on top to make it really, really pretty. So I think it's the same. I like it. So let me know if you still want to see more projects. All right. Thanks, guys.